<laughs> I'm going to move on from that, Lauren. I have no idea what that means. And we're just going to talk about your heat and some active situation down and near the shore. Maybe a weather whisperer can get a handle on things for us. Yeah, we needed a weather whisperer, not a bear whisperer, down the shore today because we did have a cluster of thunderstorms. Really, much of our only activity occurred in this area earlier today. We did have a couple of severe thunderstorms that put down some pea size hail, produced damaging winds winds of 60 miles per hour and also produced a funnel cloud right near Absecon in between Absecon and Pleasantville near the AC Expressway. A funnel cloud was verified on a social media video by the National Weather Service. Did not touch the ground though, so it's not a tornado, but a funnel cloud produced by those severe thunderstorms. But all is quiet right now, but we are going to have a more active afternoon as we head into the day tomorrow, tomorrow evening and potentially into tomorrow night with more widespread storm activity, so do plan for thunderstorms for tomorrow. Right now, though, all is quiet as we get a live look at Center City, Philadelphia, and all is still quite steamy. 82 degrees our current temperature in Philly. We've fallen off into the 70s at some of our reporting sites down to 76 in AC, 74 in Allentown after a scorching day, and we're at 77 in Reading. Dew points, we do have a bit of a gradient as we've had throughout the day with drier air situated off to the north and west. We got a little bit of a break a couple of hours when our dew points fell into the upper 50s in Philadelphia. Now we're way back up in the low 70s, so it feels downright soupy when you step outside and dew points will increase all across the area as we head into the overnight period as that humid air mass continues to move off to the north. So mostly clear, warm and muggy. We're only falling back to 74 degrees, hot and steamy for everyone tomorrow. We're at 95 heat index values in the upper 90s to near 100 degrees. So be sure to take it easy. Also in the forecast, a better chance of thunderstorms as we head into late day tomorrow. And we do have the potential to see a few severe thunderstorms. The entire area, Delaware, Lehigh Valley, Poconos, and a marginal risk category one out of five of severe weather through the day tomorrow. So future weather showing us quiet for the first half of the day. Into lunchtime, nothing going on. But once storms start firing up, they will rapidly do so and rapidly strengthen as well as a cold front slowly traverses the area and encounters that very warm and humid air mass prime for storm activity as we head into the evening hours. Quite a bit of storm activity concentrated in and around Philadelphia, and these storms will persist after sunset, which is kind of atypical for a summertime pattern. Even storms lingering potentially into tomorrow night, and we could see a few showers even lingering into Tuesday morning as we head into Wednesday. That scattered storm chance stays with us. Temperatures in the low 90s through next Thursday that all told together would be an eight day stretch of 90s, our longest since 2016, Joe. All right. Well, you know what? You'll be busy this week, Lauren Casey. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much.